Show me the strong stone that becomes soft, the hard stone that becomes brittle, the weak stone that becomes strong. Mikki tekee täällä. Hmm. Oh, you can see me? That's a relief. Can you hear me too? Another improvement. I've been trapped in the synchrosisiac state for I don't know how long. My senses, myself, scattered far and wide. I'm barely aligned enough to communicate. I need an intervention to pull me free. Would you help me? Ah, psych Mikaela menettää vähän pielle. I need to find a Daedra sage named Irving, a master of the Eleventh Force Change. He may be my best hope of escaping the Synchrosisia. Maybe my only hope. Will you help me find Irving? I'll compensate you once I'm whole. Niin, siis Dagon on Dietra, jonka alaan kuuluu myös muutos. Niin sen takia, että on ihan, ihan loogista. The only lead I have is one of Irvank's disciples, Mora, in windswept crag. I've been trying to communicate with her for hours, but I get no response. If you speak on my behalf, we may finally get somewhere. He is a well-known sage. Though few besides his disciples have ever seen him. Rumors claim he's always in motion, which is fitting, but also makes tracking him down very difficult. Mora may be able to guide us to him, though. I wanted to study the Eleventh Force change within this realm of oblivion. You see, Mayrun's Dagon is best known for his power and no, destruction, no, no, no. but that is merely a portion no. of the sphere of influence. All of his aspects are rooted in change. Correct. Change is the most sacred of the eleven forces that govern reality. I thought observing it in such a pure state would provide insight into its influence over Mundus. But I underestimated its currents in the Deadlands. It swept me away. Among other things, I'm out of sync with this realm, with myself. It seems that I've regained enough alignment to interact with you, but there's no telling how long I'll remain like this. And I'd rather not become dispersed across time and space. Meillä meillä pelattu tällä hahmolla tätä Summersettia niin. I well, I suppose I should be forthright considering your willingness to help me. I am Valserin of the Sigic Order. Let's not make a to-do about it, and kindly keep that tidbit to yourself. A mystical monastic society. We are devoted to the study of the old ways, and mostly keep to ourselves these days. Those studies brought me here and led me into this current predicament. More exciting than another day in the library, at least. That's a topic we could fill a symposium with. But suffice to say, they're the psychic central beliefs governing our understanding of the eleven forces of reality. Expanding our knowledge of those forces is what we devote our lives to. Was tired of walking anyway.
taitopiste. Siirrettäisiin jonkin tie äh, videopeliin lopullisesti, niin mikä se olisi? <laughs> ja miksi? <laughs> Flight Simulatori lasketaan kun sitä vastaa tuon. Flight Simulator on hieno peli. But your sweaty, reeking body would test even Lord Dagon's endurance. Well, go on before your overwhelming miasma seeps into everything and drives away the fish. Sending you to Master Irving would be akin to farting downwind. I would inflict your odious odor on my worst enemy, let alone a Daedra of his esteem. Whatever your troubles, they'll be over soon. Your smelly existences are mercifully brief. I just want to fish without your fetid meat musk burning my nose. You can go pick apocalypse seeds from an end times ash tree for all I care. Actually, that's perfect. Go get me a seed. I think there's one out in those burning wastes. <laughs> you must be utterly baffled by the concept. Just sitting and waiting for something to occur with patience. As quickly as you expire, the mere idea must appear ludicrous. How utterly pathetic. They do? Oh my. That somehow makes it even worse. There went the last vestiges of pity I held for you worthless creatures. Alas, I'll never be as cruel as whoever conceived of you reeking awful bags. Oh, I really couldn't say. Why don't you take a dip and see for yourself? I want you to go away, but some shade would be nice. Wait, stop that. I don't need to explain anything to you, Fault Wisp. Just blow away and vanish like the leaves of an end times ash. <laughs> what don't I have against you? You mortals are like an irritating itch. They're long enough to be a nuisance, but nothing of any lasting consequence. The pointlessness of your existence offended me. Why any Daedra have an interest in you is beyond me. Täällä on Redditissä kysymys, että niin kuin Todd Hovarilta, että miten se suunnittelee pelin, että miten se tyyli pysyy tone. Miten, miten se säilytetään. Sitä ilmeisesti keskustellaan usein. Tone on sama kuin maailma. Minkälaisen, minkälaisen paikan haluaisit tutkia. Mikä, mikä siitä tekee mielenkiinto, se miten se pala, ö, palkitaan se mielenkiinto. Eli niin kuin, paikkoja, joihin voi samaistua. Ja fantasi, fantastisia maa, paikkoja niin kuin se sekaisin. Okei. Okay. Ihan ymmärrettävää. Off we go.
is an end times ash tree. But it appears to be like most things in the Deadlands. Dead. All is not lost, though. I remember that these trees have a particularly volatile life cycle. Growth, destruction, regrowth. It just needs a nudge. If we want a seed, we need it to sprout. That's impossible while it's dead. But I think we can encourage it to change if we provide it with the right catalysts. I'll try conjuring some elements. If I can manage that, you can apply them to the tree. I am still tenuously connected to this realm. I'm not even sure I'll be able to muster simple conjurations. But you and I are still relatively in phase. If all goes well, you can act as an intermediary and effect change on my behalf. A synchrocesia, it's... Ah. We've looped back upon ourselves. You'll need to try something else. Something's changing. Ah. That is deeply unpleasant. But at least we're returning to a stable current. That's a good start. through the quenched flames. My body, it's down. <laughs> <Again. laughs> Somehow our meddling with the end times ash affected my asynchronous state. I was fully aligned with myself again, if only for a brief moment. Puzzling. I'm afraid I don't understand the implications, but Irvang might. We should return to Mora. We could, but I'm not quite to the point of risking my entire existence on blind experimentation. I believe Irvang is still my best hope of returning to a stable state, provided we can convince Mora to help us find him. Let's ride! Can never have enough of that. horrendous stench by rolling around in ash and dirt <sighs> only a mortal would believe compounding filth with filth is somehow an improvement an apocalypse seed how did you <sighs> I honestly thought you'd wander off and die before the new seedlings took and you just brought this to me why would you do that I made no pact with you I don't understand this is some sort of trick, isn't it? Are you even smart enough for tricks? Maybe you really did just bring it to me. Idiot mortal. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm just going to turn it away, but I'm not going to be in debt to a mortal. I suppose you demonstrated you aren't completely useless, and you muffled your overpowering stench. Fine, I'll help you to find Master Irving. Seek out Shirodar in the Flea Pits district of Wretched Spire. He was the last mortal to see the Master. Wretched Spire? I'll meet you there.
Just listen. Gilfrick sent you to hunt me, didn't he? Dubious hench ghost, this one is not fooled. Ah, mercy! This one does not wish to become Gilfrex's ghost slave as well. Just stop for one moment and let me explain. Call off your attack, ghost. Shirodar knows when he is caught, but have mercy. No matter the size of this one's death, Gilfrex gets nothing if Shirodar dies. You... don't? That one, the ghost, she said the same. But Gilfrex has his tricks. His thugs hunt this one like an animal. Shirodar does not know you, so he taught you among them. If you are not with Gilfrex, what do you want with this one? Mora, the Daedra who is most rude. And to hear it from her, this one's fragrance would befoul all the corners of oblivion. <laughs> Never has Shirodar been so insulted. Sorry, Shirodar is too busy fleeing for his life to be of much help. <laughs> oh, if you were to get guilty yeah, but the of Shirodar's thing. tale, that would make you much more agreeable in this one's book. Shirodar is greatly in debt, but what Gilfrex asks for is beyond what this one can deliver. Perhaps you can remedy this. Gilfrex rules the Fleeted District, feeding on desperation and despair. Shirodar suspects he is not so important for a Daedra, but among the dregs of wretched spire, he is a king. This one should not linger in the flea pits. He will hide outside. He is under the impression that this one can retrieve some foul Daedric trinket from a most dangerous place. This one is much more skilled at fleeing and cowering. Unfortunately, Gilfrex will likely kill Shirodar for refusing. Let's find this Gilfrex and be done with it. Please, my lord Gilfrex, I just need more time. Time? I have time. You do not. One day, filth. You'll have to handle Gilfrex yourself, I'm afraid. They don't seem to be aware of me. Can't say I mind being beyond the notice of such low-life scum. You're not one of my debtors. Yet. But everyone in Wretched Spire needs something, and I provide. So what can I do for you, poor mortal? Right to the chase. I hate that. I like to watch the needy squirm. Shiradar, for example. Big squirmer. You, not so much, I suppose. Is that why the cat sent you? As muscle? Raw deal, you'll never collect. Either way, I'm getting what I'm owed. The cat promised he could get me a little item called the Slave Choker from False Martyr's Folly. But it was all talk. If I don't have that collar by the time I find the cat, I'll make one out of his tail. Understand? It's not getting me any closer to the Slave Choker, that's for sure. Fine. Rung enough fear out of the cat these last few days to have my fill. It's overpowering the more subtle miseries I savor. His dead is cleared. Okay, Let then push the Puhuma.
is never going to catch up if you keep running on. But that is how Gilfrit catches up to this one too! I told you, they've already paid off your debt. It's you. <laughs> the ghost says everything is alright. Gilfrit no longer wants my tail. Or any other part of me. Is... Is it true? Gilfrex forgave it? Gilfrex never forgives anything. Or perhaps Master Erwin was right. This one's fortunes can change for the better. Perhaps next time it will even be Shirodar who changes them. Well, you see, this one does not know the Master's ever-shifting path, so he cannot say for sure. But he does know that Master Erwin planned to visit a new disciple. Or a disciple to be, rather. Hikso, a skeptic of the Master's ways. This one will mark the place on your map. He is certain you will find the stubborn one and Master Irving there. Unless Irving has already convinced Hikso and they have both moved on. No, no. Shirodar is sure you are meant to cross paths. Superstizia is shifting again. That is so, so disorienting. This alignment is still yeah. unstable. I can already feel it slipping out of phase. Please, let's find Hikso before my condition was worse. I, I think I'm responding to the changes you're creating here. It's a miracle we've maintained a connection this long. I take it as a good sign that my synchrosesia is coming closer to alignment, even if it's unstable. So was it? No need for any hostility. <laughs> now that makes the risk of bodily harm moot. What maggot? Master of lies. Irving says even stone softens when needed. <sighs> Nonsense. Things made strong are strong. Things made weak are weak. Prove the strength of his words. Otherwise, Irving is nothing to me. And so are you. Show me the strong stone that becomes soft. The hard stone that becomes brittle. The weak stone that becomes strong. Show me that you and Irving are worth hearing. Then, I might answer you. You aren't, unless there is truth in Irving's words. If there is proof to be found, you will find it near the Dramora outpost to the west. Now go, die to the strong maggots. Look at that dude. I'm sure Master Irving was speaking of volcanic rocks with this analogy. There must be geological activity nearby that would prove his point. See if you can gather stones that are as Hikso described. The panzer lap is too juoksenaa kalo. Se on ollut enpaa kuin mun ratsastaa.
We can do this. Vulkaanista lasia. Tää on varmaankin yksi niistä. Sitten. Find the stones? Pixo should be along. It'd be hard to miss. Oh, well, he's arrived. Maggot, you return. It is as Irving said strong becomes weak, weak becomes strong. Change is inevitable. These stones prove the strength of his words. I did not understand him. Now, I do. Irving awaits you to the south. Grow, maggot, into something strong. I'm really glad your mood improved before this happened. Se on skämpi. Eggbankin. Who speaking? Wait. Master Irving? Is that you? No. 
used to one who desires understanding, I will be heard. Uh -huh. No, no, though it's possible all bacon could do this. It's possible you can do this. Anything is possible. Reaching that possibility is much less likely. A complex course along the path of change can be a longer journey than most are willing or able to make. You yourself, mortal, are bound by the length of your life and must plot your course accordingly. I cannot change her, but she can change her. That is all. Not what I expected, but then nothing about this journey has been thus far. The Bainkins, Master Irvag's voice, comes through clearly, but I don't understand. He's telling me he can't correct my alignment with this realm. I, I don't know. I'm stretched so thin. Just holding on to some semblance of reality all this time has been exhausting. I don't think I can go on fighting like this much longer. If a master of the Eleventh Force can't fix this, what hope do I have? I can barely think straight anymore. If you have any brilliant ideas, I'm open to suggestions. Yes, you're right. I'm a Cedric. I know myself better than anyone. If anyone is going to pull myself together, it should be me. I am the master of myself. It's too much. I can't keep fighting it. I have to let go. I feel it. Pulling. Pushing. But I can flow with it. I can align with it. Ah, at last. I'm whole again. I can't begin to describe how unpleasant it is to be strewn across the cosmos. I think my sense of touch was underwater half the time. And my teeth feel like I've been sleeping with my mouth open. Yes. I understand how to keep this realm's chaos from pulling me apart now. I'll be fine. Thanks to your efforts as my proxy. If I had to be out of phase with reality, I'm glad you were there to help me. Please, accept this with all my gratitude. 